When COVID peaked in 2020, it marked the eventual fall in my physique. It might have been the second big lockdown here in Australia that put me into a position where I gained a ton of weight and essentially became fat. Which then leads into the entirety of 2022 where I managed to sustain my body fat percentage while also continuing to put on more muscle and strength in the process. Here's how I stayed lean year round throughout 2022 and forever on. At the start of 2022, for about two months, I was balancing two jobs. In the morning from about 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. on average, I'd unload containers. For those uninformed, I'm not talking about food containers, I'm talking about those big containers that hold products for companies. Near the afternoon to evening, I'd do personal training for about two to three hours on average. I was able to balance these two jobs for a few months, but the big problem was that I was having a hard time dealing with the staff where I was personal training, so eventually I left. This still came down to me working my container unloading job, which was intensely physical. The job required me to constantly be on my feet most of the time, moving back and forth between pallets, picking up boxes, stacking those boxes on the pallets and then wrapping them, so I would have considered this my cardio. The working days lasted anywhere between 3 hours to 8 hours, but the average day was about 5 hours of intense, fast-paced work from Monday to Friday and sometimes Saturday. This job probably was the cornerstone for me being able to stay lean throughout the whole year alone. In addition to working in the morning, this also meant I had to find time to work out after a day's work, which wasn't difficult for me to do. I usually hit my normal program at around 6 p.m. six days a week and I probably can only remember ever skipping two whole workouts in the entire year. So considering everything, my physical activity levels were through the roof. The crazy part of adapting to this lifestyle was that I'd eat literally whatever I wanted. Sometimes I'd eat McDonald's during breaks at work and even KFC after I finished work. I'd like to think I was able to effectively force my body to burn more calories than I was eating. Yes, it's true, I did eat what I wanted, but to be honest, I don't actually think I ate that much throughout a normal day. Nothing really ever went over 3-5 to five meals, and those meals weren't huge meals even with all the fast food. I want you guys to realize that I had already finished my cutting phase prior to adapting to this new lifestyle and I was set on approaching a gain taining phase. But surprisingly, my weight mostly stayed the same to this day. I have to be honest, there aren't any tricks that I used to intentionally try and maintain my body fat levels, not to the extent that I did in my actual cutting phase. You could argue it was my metabolism that helps with this, but you'd be surprised that I actually can put on weight very easily if I ever so wanted. I truly believe it was an enormously huge increase in my NEAT levels that helped me stay lean. For those of you that don't know what NEAT is, it stands for Non-Exercise Activity Thermogenesis. This essentially meant I was able to sustain my physique and improve purely because I was so active during the day. Work and working out, work and working out, work and working out, it didn't stop. And this is the actual technique I'd use when I was cutting intentionally. I'd make it a rule to stand and move when I could. This meant if I was watching TV or just slacking around, I'd sporadically just start shadow boxing or jumping to improve my NEAT level. So those of you who also have the goal to stay lean year round, it's very, very easy when you're busy. When you feel hungry but have so much to do, it puts pushes your meal further out to the day, which ultimately reduces your caloric intake, which is also the main goal, being in a caloric deficit. Being active just helps push this weight loss and sustenance further. Losing weight and maintaining a healthy body fat percentage is actually much easier than people make it out to be. It's just that the average person lacks discipline and has way too much time on their hands, which forces them to stay sedentary longer than everyone else. The formula is this. Reduce your meal intake or portions where possible, move more, train to get stronger, and hydrate. That's it. It also helps to have a meaningful reason to want to stay lean or fit. A lot of people lack resolve. They don't think it's worth it. But I think health is always worth it.